the scumbag betrayed and was reborn. She was no longer the high IQ and low emotional intelligence queen. Starting from scratch, she swore to make the scumbag pay the price. Chin Das Ho, who has a cold heart in front of his lover and a dog's leg behind him, said that as long as his daughter dot in dot law is well, everything else is just floating clouds. Shallow, if you go to hell, I will accompany you to hell. I want to see which little ghost dares to touch my wife. The man who had shed the aura of an actor was dressed in a straight military uniform, strong and powerful. I'm hungry, Su Yi said with a slight bend in his mouth the man with a fierce expression between his eyebrows and eyes suddenly transformed into a super cook, bumping his butt into the kitchen. His wife's belly was the most important. Everyone. Let's go, let's go, dog food is full. Keywords of the novel. Rebirth Movie Queen is a bit stiff without pop-ups, Rebirth Movie Queen is a bit stiff. Download the full text, Rebirth Movie Queen is a bit stiff, and read the latest chapters. Chapter 1. I am still alive. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2. Destiny should not be endured. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2. Destiny should not end just as Yi Qian was struggling to figure out where to go, her phone rang and the words, Great Beauty, were written on the screen. She frowned slightly and swiped the screen to answer the call. Hello. Before she could finish her feeding, the woman's words echoed through the receiver, Su Yi Qian. Where are you now? I told you about tomorrow's audition, but I begged my grandfather and grandmother to win it for you. If you dare to cause trouble for me, we won't be finished. Yi Qian raised his hand and pressed on the bulging temples, looking up at the surroundings. The city was familiar to her, but she had never been to this place before. Casually mentioning a slightly conspicuous building, the woman on the phone immediately guessed where she was, told her to stay there and hang up the phone. Yi Qian slid down the wall and sat on the ground, his eyes beginning to blur. He couldn't help but feel a growing headache. A black shadow flashed before her eyes, and she tried to open her eyes to see clearly, but in the next second, she fainted. When she woke up, everything in her eyes was white, with white walls and white ceilings. Is she in the hospital? The door to the hospital room was pushed open, and a woman dressed in a neat and serious outfit walked in. Her brown long hair was meticulously coiled behind her head, with no expression on her face. She held a pile of test papers in her hand and saw the person lying on the hospital bed wake up with a darker complexion. With a loud bang, he threw the test report onto the hospital bed. Su Yi Chin. Do you know you're a model? Do you know that what's happening now will ruin your future? Yi Qian was taken aback for a moment. She slowly sat up straight and calmly picked up the test sheets. The potassium content in her blood was low, and her blood pressure was low. No wonder she suddenly fainted last night. Hmm, poor lungs. Can't you still smoke? Yi Qian frowned slightly. In her past life, she had extremely high expectations of herself, otherwise she wouldn't have achieved such admirable accomplishments at that age. She drinks alcohol, but cigarettes are definitely not touched. Su Yi Chin, Miss Today's Audition Do you know how big an opportunity you missed? Interview The cold voice abruptly stopped the woman's words, and she looked at the girl in front of her in surprise. When she scolded her like this before, she should have been full of impatience. Why is it so calm today? If something goes wrong, it must be a demon. Just as Chiu Jingmei was about to continue saying something, she saw the girl in front of her lift the blanket and get out of bed. She looked at her hospital uniform and Yi Qian looked up at her. Could you please help me find an outfit? What, what? Didn't it mean there was an audition today? Yi Qian looked at her in confusion. This woman should be the agent of her own body, right? So silly. Is it really good? Fortunately, Chiu Jingmei didn't know what she was thinking. 
Upon hearing her words, Chiu Jingmei frowned and looked at her from head to toe. Your current state is not suitable for an audition, she said, no one knows my body better than me, I'm fine. The door of the ward was pushed open, and a young man in black casual clothes walked in. He saw the two people standing in the ward and smiled lightly, what's wrong with this? This girl insists on going for an audition, Chiu Jingmei said angrily. The young man turned his gaze to Yi Qian. No, it should be Su Yi Qian, with a hint of helplessness on his face. Qian Qian, your body has not yet recovered and is not suitable for work. I can, Su Yi said lightly. Chiu Jingmei stomped her feet and said, you said it yourself. She immediately called and had someone bring a set of clothes to throw to Sui Qian, who looked at the clothes in his hand. The white sleeveless T-dot shirt, black sports pants and white sports shoes were the simplest clothes. Sui Qian's heart moved, it seemed that this agent was not completely useless, at least she knew what kind of outfit her body was most suitable for. The doctor walked in holding the medical record book and couldn't help but frown at their movements. The patient is not suitable for work now, and I don't recommend her to be discharged, he said Chiu Jingmei glared at Su Qian. You have to deal with it yourself. After changing clothes, Su also pursed his lips and looked at the young doctor, sorry, I think as long as you don't do strenuous exercise, there won't be any problem, right? The doctor was taken aback, looked at the girl, shook his head, and said, although I don't know how you know, what you said is right. I hope you take good care of your own health. Thank you, doctor. No one would cherish this body more than me. Live again, she will protect herself and not let herself be harmed again. Su Yiqian and Chiu Jingmei walked out of the hospital and saw the white Volkswagen parked outside. Even Su Yiqian, who had always been calm, twitched his lips slightly. He was used to using a nanny car when going out, and when he got in this car, the difference was a bit big. Chiu Jingmei said while driving, this opportunity is hard won. Since you have decided to go, I hope you cherish it. The spokesperson for the new product of Huanyu Group has already appointed Chen Yimo, the first sister of the company. This time, you need to shoot a new product show for Huanyu Group with other models. Huan Yu Group Su Yi frowned slightly. She had collaborated with the Universal Group in her previous life, and the spokesperson must be a top-tier celebrity in China. She has always pursued a sexy style, but her body is completely unrelated to sexiness. It seemed that she felt her doubts, and Chiu Jingmei smiled lightly. The new product of Huan Yu Group this time is in a relaxed sports style, and you still have a chance. Is it a relaxed sports style? Su Yiqian smiled lightly at the corner of her mouth. Being able to survive in this body proves that her life should not be terminated. Since that's the case, let's start the journey of this life from this moment. The audition was held in the headquarters building of Huan Yu, a well-known clothing brand in China with a good reputation internationally. Its handmade suits are also favored by many celebrities. The boss behind Huan Yu is said to be the Qin family, one of the four major families in Yanjing. Su Yiqian has been living in Yanjing for so long in his previous life, so he naturally knows that this is not a legend, but a fact. Xiu Jingmei explained her intention to the front desk. The front desk only glanced at the two people and saw that they presented Fei Yu's work permit and Su Yiqian's model card. There was no expression on their faces and they nodded lightly to dial the phone. After a while, a woman like an assistant came down and looked at Chiu Jingmei and Su Yiqian, which couldn't help but brighten her eyes. She had just seen so many pretentious women on it, and the unpainted girl in front of her was actually in a good mood. Su Yiqian from Feiyu, right. Come with me, I'll take you up. The elevator is parked on the 15th floor, which is the dedicated photography studio for this shoot by Huan Yu. The entire floor is their filming site. In places like Yanjing, each floor is a studio, and it's just their first shot. It has to be said that Huan Yu is indeed wealthy and wealthy. No one. No one. No one. End of this chapter.
Chapter 3 Fate Comes from Old Friends You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Fate Comes from Old Friends As soon as he entered the studio, Su Yichin almost left because of the smell of perfume. God knows if so many perfume smells will produce chemical reaction when mixed together. Su Yichin is a C.level model at Feiyu, the latest and lowest level model, so it was not easy for Chiu Jingmei to secure her audition for this shoot. Su, the photography studio of Huan Yu Group, is very familiar. She used to be the spokesperson for all the clothing and products of Huan Yu Group, and the stars were all around her. Now, she wants to become one of the many stars, and there is inevitably a psychological gap. But since she has started over again, she will no longer consider herself as Yi Qian. She is now Su Yi Qian, and can only be Su Yi Qian. Chiu Jingmei said something to the person in charge with a proper smile on her face. Her smile was neither pleasing nor perfunctory. The person in charge turned to look at Su Yi Qian and nodded slightly. The elevator opened again, and when they saw the people walking out of the elevator, many models sorted out their facial expressions with smiles on their faces. Two young people came shoulder to shoulder, and the young man in silver-gray casual attire caught Su Yi-chin's eye. Unexpectedly, he was invited to the filming of Universal Clothing. Xiao Yu has published his works multiple times in National Geographic magazine and is also the most favored photographer in various fashion magazines. However, Xiao Yu is not easy to get along with. Although he appears to have a gentle smile on the surface, those who are familiar with him know that beneath his smile, there is endless alienation. The young man in a black suit standing next to Xiao Yu is more famous than Xiao Yu. Chen Shang, the youngest general manager of Huan Yu Group, is the dream lover in the eyes of most unmarried girls. Among the models, Xiao Yu saw Su Yi Qian at a glance, not how beautiful she looked or how outstanding she dressed. On the contrary, among all these models, she is the only one who has no makeup and is dressed in a black and white outfit making it difficult for people not to pay attention. What's the name of that model? The assistant following behind Chen Shang was the female assistant who had just come down to pick up Su Yi-chin. Upon hearing Xiao Yu's words, she couldn't help but smile and say, Su Yi-chin, a C.level model at Feiyu Entertainment, I just saw her. She didn't wear makeup and her figure is also good. Although Su Yi-chin was rebellious before, she still persisted in physical exercise. Her low blood pressure and low blood potassium were caused by not eating much to maintain her figure after exercise. All right, everyone look at me. The person in charge clapped his hands and saw that all the models were looking at him before loudly saying, Mr. Chiao Yu is the one who is conducting the trial shoot for everyone. I think everyone is aware of Mr. Chiao Yu's strength. Everyone should show their best form and start the trial shoot immediately. Immediately, the fashion designer and stylist took the models to change clothes, and Su Yi Qian was about to follow them when he was stopped by an assistant on the side. The female assistant looked at her with a smile and said, Miss Su, Mr. Chiao Yu said you can shoot first. Su Yi Qian looked at her in confusion, why could he shoot first? She turned her head to look at Chiu Jingmei, who obviously didn't quite understand. She quickly went to ask the person in charge who had just talked to her. Xiao Yu lifted his leg and walked up to Su Yichian, carefully examining her from head to toe. Although it was a bit impolite, Xiao Yu's next words made Su Yichian's dissatisfaction disappear. You meet the shooting requirements very well. If possible, I would like you to start first. Although somewhat helpless, Su Yi-chin nodded in agreement. She has never worked as a model in her past life, so if she were to take a walk, she might not be able to do it. However, in terms of flat photography, she can still do it. Just as she was standing in front of the camera preparing to shoot, Chen Shang suddenly stopped and said, Qin Xiao is here. Qin Xiao. Su Yi frowned lightly and looked at the person walking out of the elevator, taking a deep breath of air conditioning. It was him. The person is dressed in a simple white sleeveless T-dot shirt, pure black sports pants, black sports shoes, with an indifferent expression on their face and a slender and upright figure. 
The most I dot catching were those obsidian-like eyes, which, when scanned by his gaze, gave off a chilling sensation. Chi Nemo. She was the only actor in her previous life who did not cooperate. Chi Nemo suddenly emerged three years ago, and his debut was in the famous film The World is King by director Lu Mo, which went viral overnight. Some people say that his family background is prominent, while others say that his background is larger than all the people in this circle combined, and everything is said to have never received accurate information. But she knew that the person in front of her was the world, the crown prince of the Qin family. The Qin family is one of the four top families in Yanjing. As the crown prince of the Qin family, his Qin MO is not popular, so it is natural for him to feel embarrassed. Xiao Yu, who was adjusting the camera in his hand, saw the man walking by and frowned slightly. Didn't we say it was 10 o'clock? It's already 10.30 now. Hmm, Chi Nemo didn't say anything, just responded. Standing there, Su Yichian's eyes flickered and he lowered his head slightly when he saw the man behind Chi Nemo. Xiang Nan, Yichian's agent, and also her senior in college. Su Yichian sighed in her heart. Today's photo doesn't seem easy to take. The male lead is actually Qin Mo, as well as Xiang Nan. She hopes he won't find anything wrong. Qin Mo stood next to Xiao Yu, his gaze fixed on Su Yichian. The girl's figure was too thin and weak, and she couldn't see her face clearly when she stood there with her head down. But for some reason, Qin Mo's heart moved, and a plain voice sounded, She's my partner. No. Chen Shang's words were interrupted by Xiao Yu before he could finish. He smiled and looked at his friend beside him, if she were your partner, what would you think? Chen Shang smiled bitterly in his heart. Can photographer Xiao to stop causing trouble? What is the identity of the prince in their family, and how could this young model who has just debuted outside the 18th tier be his partner? Qi Nemo lifted his leg and walked up to Sui Qian, staring at her dark head. It's nice to work with you, he said Su Yichian was taken aback for a moment, then slowly lifted his head to look at him and spoke hesitantly, are you talking to me? Is there a second woman here besides you? Su Yi's mouth twitched slightly as if she wasn't a woman yet. Can you say there's no woman here? She coughed lightly and reached out her hand politely, saying, Hello Qin, I am a model under Fei Yu. Su Yichin. Su Yichin Qin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly, and he gently shook hands with her before retracting his hand. He turned to look at Xiao Yu and said, Give it a try. Xiao Yu made an okay gesture, and Qin Mo slightly turned his head to look at the person next to him. The latter first smiled apologetically, then raised his hand and placed his arm on Qin Mo's shoulder, smiling brightly towards the camera. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Chi Nemo You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4 Chi Nemo Sui Qian became a model because she had already reached a height of 1.78 meters, which may not be high enough for those athletes, but as a female model, her height is definitely enough. And Chi Mo's height was just 10 centimeters higher than Sui Qian's. Sui Qian raised his arm and just placed it on his shoulder. At the moment when Su Yichian put his arm on his shoulder, Qin Mo took a deep breath. He didn't smell the perfume he imagined, only the faint smell of disinfectant. This girl just came out of the hospital. Returning to the car, Chiu Jingmei looked at the girl in front of her with complex eyes. No wonder she always felt that the Su Yichian she met today was different from before, and she had forgotten everything. The female model quickly adjusted her expression, but no matter how she looked at it, it showed stiffness. What Su Yichian cared about was not the result of this shooting, but the words spoken by Xiao Yu. She couldn't figure it out, she and Qin Mo had never had a private conversation before. How could this relationship end up like this after her death? Xiao Yu looked at the photo on the computer and suddenly remembered, looking at Xiang Nan in confusion. No, Qin Mo is the most punctual kid. Why was he half an hour late this time? Both of them are very camera-savvy people. 
Xiao Yu looked at the photo on the computer and immediately smiled, How do you feel, Qin? Okay, thank you, doctor. She was thinking about this question all the way, until Chiu Jingmei patted her before she looked up in confusion and said, What's wrong? One by one, the models went over to take photos, and later on, Xiao Yu's face became increasingly ugly. What were these models doing all this fussing? This is a sport series, not a temptation series. Why don't you just pull off your clothes? Finally, the last person was photographed. Xiao Yu took a deep breath, lowered his head to look at the photo, and entrusted everything else to Qin Shang. Anyway, he was a photographer and was responsible for taking photos. You're not a doctor, Chiu Jingmei said silently as she opened the car door and was about to pull her out of the car. Su, who was here, couldn't help but be curious when he heard the conversation between the two. She must be a woman, right? Why hasn't she heard of Qin Mo having a good relationship with a woman? The young man faced Su Yiqian's gaze, his eyes flickering slightly, and he smiled and said, Qian Qian, I would feel embarrassed if you look at me like this. At this point, other female models had also changed into simple clothes and walked out one by one. After seeing Qin Mo, they were even more excited. They were able to cooperate with Qin Mo good luck. However, she had never worked with Qin Mo in her past life, and the two of them even had very little communication. There were also rumors of their discord among outsiders. How could Qin Mo go to see himself after his own death? Qin Mo frowned slightly. Before he could think of anything, he heard Xiao Yu's voice and adjusted his expression. His face still didn't have a smile, but it was like this. Compared with Su Yiqian, who had a bright and sunny smile, there was an inexplicable contrast in cuteness. The model to partner with Qin Mo will only be decided tomorrow, and everyone left the world with anxiety. Xiao Yu's gaze turned to Qin Mo, who was standing on the side, looking down to reply to the message. The latter seemed to sense his gaze and raised his head slightly, casting doubt. Xiao Yu shook his head and remained silent. Xiao Jingmei frowned and looked at her, you're at the hospital. Let the doctor check your body again. She smiled and didn't say anything, then casually glanced at Xiang Nan, who stood with Xiao Yu looking at the photo. Xiao Yu looked at her collapsed face and immediately turned black. If you don't want to take a picture, then replace it with another one. Su Yi's lips twitched slightly, sorry, I might have knocked my head before, I don't remember you. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Yu also fell silent. The shining woman suddenly left. Although he had never worked with her before and felt a hint of regret, it was not comparable to regret, let alone to him Su Yiqian looked out the window and it was indeed a hospital. She touched her nose and shook her head, saying, I understand my body, there's no problem. Unfortunately, the first female model who walked up with excitement stiffened her face when she saw Qin Mo turn around and leave. No, didn't she collaborate with Qin Mo? One board four, one river three, one river Su Yiqian's hand had already been taken down, and Qin Mo raised his eyebrows slightly when he heard Xiao Yu's words, not bad. Xiao Jingmei, who was handling the discharge procedures, heard her words and her pen fell directly to the ground. The doctor also looked up at Su Yiqian in surprise and said, Do you think you have amnesia? Su Yiqian walked up to Chiu Jingmei, who was suppressing her excitement and whispered to her, I didn't expect you to be able to cooperate with Qin Mo this time. Your persistence is really right. Xiao Yu's words left Su Yiqian stunned. She didn't hear it wrong, did she? Yi Qian. Is it oneself? Su Yiqian stood on the side with an inexplicable expression. It would be strange for anyone to know from others that a man who had never met him in person had a good relationship with him, right? Especially Qin Mo, such a man who has never had any scandals with anyone, entertainment magazines known for their toughness have to carefully consider publishing news related to him. Su Yiqian had a helpless expression on her face and could only follow her path to get off the car. Although her agent was a bit off track in front of her, 
her abilities were still quite good at work, which made her feel a bit strange. Why would such a good agent bring her, a newly debuted model? Faced with the examination results, the young man looked at Su Yi-chin with a somewhat complicated expression in his eyes. He turned around and said something to Chiu Jingmei before quietly leaving the hospital. Su Yi-chin nodded, this matter cannot be concealed. It is better for her to speak out through this incident than to ask three questions in the future. It's really a pity, Yi Qian is the most promising Chinese actress to win an Oscar. The doctor immediately arranged for her to undergo a systematic examination. After a thorough examination, the doctor looked at Chiu Jingmei with a serious expression and said, although there is no blood stasis in her head, there is a possibility of amnesia. Take a good rest these days, be careful not to use her brain too much, and come to the hospital immediately if there is any discomfort. Su Yi-chien looked curiously at the young man beside her. This person had appeared in the ward before and looked familiar with Chiu Jingmei and herself. However, she did not have any memory of this body, so she naturally did not know who this person was. According to the doctor's examination results, Su Yi-chien is indeed not a big deal. As long as he maintains a healthy sleep and diet, plus appropriate exercise, and no longer eats irregularly, he will basically be fine. Su Yi-chien touched her nose and smiled at her, saying, Sister Chiu, although I have forgotten a lot, I know what I am doing, and I am still Su Yi-chien. Chiu Jingmei sighed and said, Please rest and I'll take you home. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Cannot be forgotten you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Unforgettable On this side, Su Yi-chien left the hospital and returned home, while on Qin Mo's side, she left Huan Yu first. However, after leaving Huan Yu, he was constantly pondering, and the girl's smile kept floating in his mind. Lifting his hand over his own eyes, Qin Mo let out a silent sigh. It has been three months now, and she has been away from herself for three months. He regrets it so much. Why didn't he confess to her in advance and why was he so cowardly? If he had confessed to her in advance, would such a thing not have happened? Xiang Nan, who was driving, also sighed when he saw his movements. He parked the car in a parking spot on the roadside and lit a cigarette. Chin Mo, I've been with you since she died. I've been watching how you came through these three months. But even if you regret it no matter how much, she can't come back. You don't understand this truth, but. Why can't you turn this corner? I can't forget. I can't forget the look of her lying in a pool of blood in a red dress, the tightly closed eyes, and. Her pale face. Xiang Nan didn't speak anymore. He had been with Yi Qian since she debuted and he watched the girl grow from innocent to a double-acting queen bit by bit. He never forgot how dazzling that girl was in the beginning. But all of this has become a thing of the past. Yi Qian has died, and countless leaves are crying bitterly, not believing everything. However, this is ultimately the truth. Su Yi Qian naturally didn't know what had happened on Qin Mo's side. She looked at the cozy house decorated in front of her, and a hint of familiarity surged in her heart. Chiu Jingmei pushed away her bedroom and said, You take a break first. Okay. It has been almost 48 hours since waking up, but it was not until then that Su Yichian had time to truly understand himself. Her bedroom decoration style is simple yet elegant, with black and white tones that look somewhat solemn. Su Yichian reached out and picked up a diary book on the desk that had not yet been closed. The handwriting on it was somewhat immature but very beautiful. The diary is very thick, and Su Yichian starts from the first page. She doesn't know anyone about everything written in it, but there is an inexplicable sense of familiarity, just like when she first enters this room. Two hours later, she closed her diary and collapsed onto the bed, with a bitter smile on her lips. She was an orphan in her past life, but now she is still an orphan. At least she experienced a few years of family warmth in her previous life, but in this life, she doesn't even know who her biological parents are. 
Is she really destined not to deserve family affection? Raising her hand to cover her eyes, bitterness is only a matter of a moment. She has no time to complain about others, and being able to live is her greatest fortune. She also has enemies, and self-pity and self-pity here will only make herself even more cowardly. Taking a deep breath, Su Yi-chien got up from the bed, opened the wardrobe, and glanced at most of the clothes in the wardrobe, which were simple casual clothes. He casually took a new set of pajamas and put them on. At that moment, Chiu Jingmei knocked on the door and couldn't help but laugh when she saw Su Yi-chien changing into pajamas. What do I cook for tonight? Everything is fine. Chiu Jingmei nodded and raised her hand to gently rub the girl's hair. Don't worry, it's me. Fortunately, I just entered this circle, she said Su Yi-chien didn't speak, and Chiu Jingmei didn't ask her anything about her amnesia. She also reminded her to rest well before closing the door and going out to buy things. In the diary, it was written that Chiu Jingmei was a sister who came out of the same orphanage as her. She didn't like reading and pestered Chiu Jingmei to lead her on her debut. Chiu Jingmei had no choice but to sign a contract with the company and become a small model under her command. Whether in daily life or at work, Chiu Jingmei is always taking care of her. She had only a few friends in her previous life, but none of them were by her side. Now that she has someone like Chiu Jingmei who cares for her meticulously, it can be considered a blessing in her life. Su also smiled lightly and shook her head. When did she become so emotional? But when she dug out a pile of high school textbooks from her room, she was confused. The brand new textbooks were unused. Wait a minute. If she remembers correctly, her current age is 18 years old, which means she has just reached adulthood this year, and this age happens to be the age for ordinary students to take the college entrance examination. Su Yichien slapped and shouted on his forehead, what's this called? She was speechless when Chiu Jingmei, who was out shopping, also returned. She saw Su Yichien staring at a pile of high school textbooks. After a moment of silence, she put down what she had in her hand and walked over to speak in a deep voice, Chan Chan, you said you wanted to take a temporary leave of absence from school before, and I agreed. But now, you will be taking the college entrance examination in another year. Are you really not going back to take the exam? Su Yichien was momentarily stunned, the college entrance examination. What a distant word. In her previous life, Yi Qian was also an orphan, but she was a genius. She relied on national scholarships all the way, skipped grades, and never experienced the normal college entrance examination. At the age of 14, he made an exception and entered the experimental class of the 4th Military Medical University. At 16, he entered MIT. At 18, he was admitted to Harvard Medical School. At 21, he gave up his dual doctoral degree and returned to China, entering the entertainment industry. At 26, he passed away in a car accident. This is the legendary life of the woman named Yi Qian. Unfortunately, it's brilliant, but even more tragic. Looking down at the chemistry book in her hand, Su Yi smiled lightly and looked up at Chiu Jingmei. Sister Chiu, after filming this set, let's arrange for me to go back to school. I need to go back and take the college entrance examination, she said although she didn't know why she made up her mind like this, Chiu Jingmei was happy. She watched the girl in front of her grow up and didn't want Su Yichian to just give up on her studies. Fortunately, she hasn't given up yet. Chiu Jingmei went to the kitchen to cook, while Su Yichian opened a brand new chemistry book and flipped through it page by page. Some of the knowledge points on it made her feel familiar, and she had not been exposed to these learning things for a long time. During the meal, Chiu Jingmei looked at the quiet Su Yichian and thought for a moment before speaking up, do you want to arrange a tutor for you? If this set of movies targets you, many people will pay attention to your grades when you take the college entrance examination. If your grades are not ideal and your school is not good, you will be criticized by many people. Su Yi shook his head slightly and said, in my third year of high school, there are exams every month. 
If I don't do well on my first exam, I'll consider hiring a tutor. Xiu Jingmei nodded helplessly and said, then pay attention to yourself. Your school classmates may not even know about your contract with the company, so don't cause any trouble. Okay. Xiu Jingmei looked at Su Yiqian with some complexity in her heart. In the past, Su Yiqian often made her jump with anger, but now that Su Yiqian is so obedient, it makes her feel a sense of loss. This feeling. Why is it so like a parent watching their child grow up? End of this chapter. 6. Chapter 6 How Lucky It Is You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 How Lucky It Is, By the Way, Shallow, Do Moko Still Remember? Moko. Su Yi frowned slightly. The name was inexplicably familiar, as if she had heard it a long time ago, but. She shook her head and said, I don't remember anything. It's the person in the hospital who grew up with us. That kid has always had his own ideas. He left without saying a word back then and suddenly came back last night. I really don't understand him, Chiu Jingmei sighed. When I was a child, he bought me chocolate, Su Yi Chin said, feeling familiar with the chopsticks in his hand Chiu Jingmei's eyes lit up and she looked at her with a slight excitement. Do you remember? To her regret, Su Yi Chin shook her head in confusion. She couldn't remember it, it was just a moment. She felt that something like this had happened, and for that moment she felt very familiar, but it was just that moment. After saying it, she forgot. Raise your hand and gently press your temples, is that a sense of familiarity with this body? She had never thought about waking up again in another person's body after death before, and all of this could not be explained by science. What about memories? Can she be so familiar and occasionally recall that one day she will have memories of two people in her mind? Seeing her frown, Chiu Jingmei thought she was feeling unwell and quickly spoke up, don't think about the past. If you forget, forget it. You need to take good care of yourself. Su Yi nodded shallowly, wondering what to do with so much thought. Living one more day is earning one more day. Just in the quiet of the night, Su also lay in bed with his eyes wide open, but couldn't sleep at all. Yi Qian is dead, what should they do? Suddenly, she sat up, lifted the blanket, and walked to the desk. Under the moonlight, she looked at the closed laptop on the table. After hesitating for a moment, she finally sat down and opened the laptop. Enter a string of numbers you see in your diary, and a beautiful landscape wallpaper appears in front of you. This picture. Is Santorini, the place that Su Yichin most wants to go? Fingers paused on the keyboard and quickly entered a string of codes. Yi Qian's dual doctoral degree was not purchased. After a moment, a pitch black web page suddenly popped up without any inquiries. It was pitch black, and if you didn't look carefully, you would think your computer was black. Su Yi Qian's fingers did not pause and tapped again. The black interface flickered, replaced by a simple chat room. Ding! Zero log into the chat room. In a few corners of the world, several people were stunned by the sudden sound of prompts. She. Isn't she dead? After being shocked, it's ecstasy. She didn't die. She must not have died. Lucifer. Are you still alive? Azrael. I knew you weren't that easy to die. Zero. What if I say, I'm really dead? In one sentence, the entire chat room suddenly fell silent. What does it mean she's really dead? Who is the person logging in now? The few people who reacted immediately grabbed the keyboard and typed in the code with a crackling sound. No matter who she was, they must find her IP address. If she were zero, they would have to protect her and never let anything happen that would make her fake die again. If not, then bear the anger of all of them. Su Yi Qian looked at the quiet chat room and sighed. She knew what they were doing now. If she unplugged the internet cable and cleared her tracks now, they would definitely not be able to find her. But when she put her hand on the internet cable, she hesitated. In her previous life, 
she only had these few friends, and she should have cut off all contact with them and let them confirm that she was dead. But she didn't hold back because she didn't want them to think she was dead. She wasn't willing to accept it. Three minutes later, Su Li Qian looked up at the clock. There was no prompt popping up on the computer screen, but three minutes was enough. Zero. I am myself, but not the original me. Lucifer. Speak clearly. Su Yi pursed his lips lightly, what do you say? Saying you're resurrected from the dead. Survived in someone else's body. Wang. Zero, let's meet once. Su Yi Qian was momentarily stunned, meeting. Wang. No matter whether you are a human or a ghost, whether you are alive or dead, no matter what you are doing, you are zero. In one sentence, Su Yi Qian almost burst into tears. How fortunate, how fortunate she was to have such a friend in her previous life. Lucifer. Although the prince's words were a bit emotional, remember zero, he's right, as long as you're zero. Su Yi Qian tightly covered his mouth, tears streaming down his face. The unwritten rule in the hacker community is that as long as it is not a life or death enemy, everything that can be solved is solved online, face dot to dot face. That's something that only people we already know in real life can do. Their identity lives on the internet, in the darkness, but cannot exist in the sunlight. Rubbing the tears off her face, Sue also took a deep breath and raised her hand to type a line on the keyboard, tomorrow night, at the Fengqiao Night Morning Cafe on Xu Yuan Road. Wang. Okay. As for how to contact them, they have their own contact information. After finishing all of this, Su Yi Qian reached out and unplugged the internet cable, lifting her hand to cover her eyes. She didn't know if she was doing it right or not, but she didn't regret it. When she woke up the next day, Su Yi Qian was still a bit confused. She only realized when she looked at the unfamiliar room with some familiarity. As she walked out of the room, Chiu Jingmei happened to come out of the kitchen with something in her hand. Seeing her, she quickly waved and said, Come and have dinner. Today, I'm going to the company to talk to them about your studies. Su Yi nodded slightly. There were simple porridge, deep dot fried dough sticks and side dishes on the table. The simple Chinese breakfast made her feel like a stranger. How long has it been since I had breakfast like this? How long has it been since anyone made breakfast for themselves? It seems like never before. Chiu Jingmei patted her and said, Don't be in a daze, eat quickly. Oh, good. Still dressed in an extremely simple outfit, the black casual suit accentuated the girl's tall figure. Although somewhat thin, in this circle where thinness is considered beauty, her weight is still normal. After all, she is a model, and appropriate exercise can better maintain a good figure. Su Yi Xian has only been in the industry for half a year, and under the arrangement of Chiu Jingmei, she has taken several magazine shoots, all of which are big group photos of a bunch of models, and they are basically not outstanding. On the way to the company, Su also casually took out her phone, which contained a bunch of games and several social media apps that she had already logged into. She simply clicked in. Su Yichian's Weibo account has been verified. Fei Yu artists, models, and fans only have a few thousand people, and these few thousand people were bought by Chiu Jingmei. She flipped through the photos taken in some magazines before, and there was hardly anything else. End of this chapter Chapter 7 A Beginning You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 A Beginning Su also sighed lightly. It was a real start from scratch, but fortunately, he was still young, 18 years old, the best time in life. Feiyu is one of the three major companies in the entertainment industry. In a place like Yenjing Second Ring Road, where every inch of land is precious, there is an entire office building as the company, just like the whole world, it's all in one place. In her previous life, she was an artist from Feiyu's rival Xingxia, and she didn't know much about this company, but she remembered that Qin Mo was from this company. 
Holding the work permit handed over by Chiu Jingmei in her hand, Su Yichian's eyes flashed with a hint of helplessness. Most famous artists brush their faces to enter and exit the company, and she used to do the same. Now that I feel like I'm back before liberation, this work permit is my face. Su Yichian followed Chiu Jingmei to the twelfth floor. As soon as he got out of the elevator, he collided with a woman head. On. Su Yichian's small body couldn't withstand a collision. She took a few steps back and almost crashed back into the elevator. She rubbed her shoulders and lifted her head in silence, but what caught her eye was a cold and beautiful face. After seeing this person, all the dissatisfaction in Su Yichian's heart disappeared, and he even felt some joy in his heart. And Xiaoya frowned and looked at the girl in front of her. She spoke in an unfriendly tone, Are you okay? With your small physique, why don't you look a little better when you go out? Although her tone was not good, those who knew her knew that there was no malice in her words. Coincidentally, Su Yi Qian was the one who knew her well. More precisely, Yi Qian is familiar with her. Although she is a prosperous artist, she has a very good relationship with the woman in front of her. And Xiaoya, known as the Queen of Cold Beauty by insiders, is a top-tier female celebrity with a diverse range of development in film, television, and music. There are many fans, but there are also many sons. It's not because of anything else, but because she can sometimes be too self-centered and give people a feeling of coldness and arrogance, even though she has the capital. Su Yi smiled lightly and shook his head. It's okay, I didn't see the way earlier and accidentally bumped into it. And Xiaoya glanced at her, raised her hand and pressed down the elevator, then lifted her leg and walked in. On the side, Chiu Jingmei saw An Xiaoya leave like this and immediately gave Su Yichin a thumbs up. Everyone working at Fei Yu knew that Miss An was difficult to serve, and she didn't expect to leave so quickly this time. Su Yi shrugged her shoulders and didn't say a word. Others didn't know that she still didn't know. This woman is just a sharp-tongued tofu heart. Besides, there are too many people in this circle who follow the trend and have two sides. Over time, she developed such a personality. Follow me. Chiu Jingmei brought her here as the artist director of the model. Listening to Chiu Jingmei's words, the woman in a well-dressed and capable suit turned her head to look at Su Yichian. To be honest, she didn't have much impression of this little model named Su Yichian, but now that she looks at her, this girl still has some capital. Regarding what Chiu Jingmei just said, she frowned and said, if you spend a year studying, you will miss out on a lot of things. As you mentioned earlier, it is very likely that you will win the clothing shooting of the universe. If you really win, then you should take advantage of this opportunity to develop instead of studying. Don't you have time to learn in the future? Just as Chiu Jingmei was about to speak, she was interrupted by Su Yichian. She smiled and looked at the artist director in front of her, politely speaking, Director Gu, I know you're doing it for my good, but I just want to be a student in addition to being an artist. I don't want my entire youth to be focused on work and making money. Although I love this profession, I want to have a youth without regrets. Gu Mo was stunned and looked at the girl again. She smiled and had the courage. If this is your decision, then I don't have much to say. Your announcements are all arranged by your agent. If you win the clothing shooting of Huanya this time, I will fight for some resources for you in the future, but it also depends on you. Do you agree with this? And you also have a good impression of yourself. Thank you very much, Director Gu, Su Yi nodded with a faint smile the two had not yet left the artist director's office when Chiu Jingmei's phone rang. Seeing the number on it, she quickly answered, Manager Chen, yes, I am Su Yi Chen's agent. Are you going to shoot tomorrow? Okay, okay, I will definitely arrive on time. Hanging up the phone, Chiu Jingmei excitedly looked at Gu Mo and Su Yi Qian and said, I've taken it. I'll go shoot tomorrow. Su Yi still smiled lightly on the surface, but felt a little excited in her heart. This feeling was the same as when she had just entered the entertainment industry and won her first role in her previous life. 
The smile on Gu Mo's face was also widening, and the spokesperson and model were all their entertainment. Now it's time for Shengshi to face them. Go back and rest well, gather energy, and make this set of films well. We will have plenty of resources in the future. Thank you, Director Gu. Going downstairs and getting into the car, Chiu Jingmei waved her fist vigorously. The excitement and excitement on her face couldn't be concealed. Even if a company like Huan Yu were just taking a single person photo, it would definitely be noticed. Su Qian sat in the passenger seat with her head tilted, looking at Chiu Jingmei's excited expression. Her mood was also very good. This was a beginning, a new beginning for her. Look, she will go further than her previous life. Chiu Jingmei started her car and stopped at an intersection after crossing two streets. Shallow, we must have a big dinner tonight to celebrate, she said, okay. Su Qian looked out the window and was stunned when she saw a sports car waiting for traffic lights next to her. The woman sitting in the passenger seat, dressed in a fiery red and flamboyant dress, with big golden waves and wide sunglasses blocking her face, was not in Xiaoya. How could she be here, or in this outfit? Su Qian frowned tightly, and in Xiaoya had only one destination in this outfit, the racing track. At this moment, the sports car started and ran away. When Chiu Jingmei was about to start the car, she was stopped by Su Qian and said, Sister Chiu, let me down ahead. Suddenly, I remembered something was wrong. Chiu Jingmei turned a corner and stopped the car, looking at her in confusion. What's up? Su Yi lightly raised his phone in his hand and quickly untied it, completely taking him out of the car. If there's anything I can do, I'll call you. She quickly stopped a taxi and reported the address. The driver glanced at her and shook his head. How could this seemingly underage girl go somewhere, or take a taxi? The taxi rushed out of the city all the way and finally stopped on Panshan Road. Su Yi Qian paid to get off the car, and the roar of various engines came from afar. She took a deep breath, put on a mask, and walked over with her legs raised. And Xiaoya leaned against the red Ferrari beside her, holding her arms and looking coldly at the young men and women debugging cars in front of her. Her mind couldn't help but think of the girl she bumped into at the company today. End of this chapter 8. If selected in Chapter 8, Take Responsibility you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 If you choose, take responsibility that girl. For a moment, she seemed to see the woman who had been away for three months. Her eyes narrowed slightly, and she instinctively wanted to smoke. After touching her skirt, she froze and shook her head with a bitter smile. How did she forget that her smoking addiction was forced to quit when that woman was still around? Taking out a box of mint candies from the car and casually throwing two in her mouth, and Xiaoya turned her head and saw the girl walking over in a black casual outfit. It's her. How did she come? And Xiaoya stood up straight and walked over with her legs raised. Su Qian looked at the woman walking by, her eyes slightly curved. Surprisingly, this woman came here to race again. She's really not afraid of things being exposed, is she? The news of a well-known actress racing in the suburbs will definitely attract everyone's attention, and this woman will have nowhere to cry when she cries. How did you come here? And Xiaoya's tone is not good, this time it's really bad. Did she follow her over? With this idea, and Xiaoya's face became even worse. Su Yiqian knew what she was thinking as soon as she listened to her words. Without taking off her mask, her cold voice rang out, you shouldn't have come here again. And Xiaoya sneered and ignored the meaning in her words. She looked up and down at Su Yiqian and said, I shouldn't have come here. Is this where you should have come? Little sister, don't try to establish a relationship with me in this way, let alone threaten me with this matter. I didn't want to establish a relationship with you, let alone threaten you with this matter. Racing is not suitable for you. If you want to vent, you can use other methods. And Xiaoya's face turned completely cold. 
someone noticed the situation on their side and several young men and women walked over. And Jie, are you friends? I don't know. Su Yichian was not surprised and ignored the young men and women directly. She looked at An Xiaoya and suddenly sighed, Sister An, some things are gone and some people can't come back no matter what. And Xiaoya's face changed and she said, What do you mean? I don't mean much. Racing cars, besides pursuing excitement and speed, what else is there? It's meaningless, Su Yichian said calmly. The ignored young men and women were unhappy, and one of them, a girl with fiery red hair, looked at her with unfriendly eyes. I said where did you come from? Are these things useful? What does it have to do with whether sister and plays with cars or not? Who are you? Su Yi looked at her with a calm expression, and her words stunned the others. I'll compete with you guys. If I win, and Xiaoya won't be able to come here again in the future. If she comes, you can also kick her out for me. And Xiaoya suddenly went berserk. What does it have to do with you whether I'm here or not? Why do you make a decision for me? Su Yi gave her a light and ethereal glance, but An Xiaoya remained motionless. Her gaze was too similar. If it weren't for seeing her appearance at the company today, she would have thought that woman had appeared in front of her again. The red-haired girl, who had reacted, looked at her speechlessly and said, Do you have a car? Are you betting with me? Su Yichian raised his hand and pointed to An Xiaoya's red Ferrari, which she had modified for her in a previous life. The red-haired girl turned her head to look at An Xiaoya and said, An Jie. An Xiaoya didn't say anything, and Su Yichian didn't say anything more. Although she hadn't been here with An Xiaoya in her previous life, she was still very familiar with these few people. The young masters and daughters in the middle circle of Yanjing didn't have any messy thoughts. Although they dressed very unconventional and spoke a bit without mercy, there was definitely no intention of harming others. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here instead of going to underground car races. The underground car race is the real way to risk your life playing with cars. And Xiaoya suddenly lifted her head and stared fixedly at Su Yichin. I have nothing to do with you. Wherever I go, I have nothing to do with you. For the sake of the same company, you should leave here immediately. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite. Su Yichin lowered her head and took out her phone to check the time. She also made an appointment with Wang tonight and cannot stay here for too long. She sighed and turned around before leaving, leaving a sentence for An Xiaoya. Life is your own, and life is also your own. Since you have taken this path, take responsibility for it. An Xiaoya stared blankly as her figure drifted away, and finally got into a taxi. This sentence. No, it's impossible. After getting off the car and returning to the city, Su Yichin stretched lazily. It was too far there, taking only four or five hours to come and go. I really don't know where they came from. American time runs so far to play with cars. Su also glanced at the time briefly. It's over four o'clock and she hasn't had lunch yet. She should go eat something first. I called Chiu Jingmei and told her that I was eating on Xu Yuan Road right now. When I went back tonight, I was told by Chiu Jingmei to hang up after a few words. Su Yichin bit on the straw in his mouth. In his previous life, his agent Xiang Nan was still a man, so he couldn't control her too much. But Chiu Jingmei is different. She grew up together since childhood and is also a woman. When it comes to giving advice, she is naturally careful. Although it may seem a bit verbose at times, Su Yichin said that she still eats this trick. The message prompt sounded, and Su Yi lowered his head and glanced at his phone. He logged into the web chat room and saw the message sent by Wang, with a hint of a smile in his eyes. She was sitting in the Fengxiao Night Morning Cafe, and her seat was quite prominent. Just as she put away her phone, the door of the CAFA was pushed open, and a man in white casual clothes walked in. The man was wearing a pair of gold-rimmed glasses, looking very gentle. 
The waiter nodded when he found out he was looking for a friend. The man looked up at the inside of the coffee shop and almost in an instant, he locked onto his goal. Is that girl who is dressed simply and can't be any simpler the person he is looking for? Don't ask him why, the sixth sense is not limited to women. Wang. Su Qian watched as the man walked over and sat opposite him, his smile widening at the corner of his mouth I guessed it was one thing, but seeing and hearing her say it was another thing with my own ears, the man was slightly lost, but soon realized it and looked at her apologetically, zero. Su Yi smiled and pushed over a cup of coffee, it seems I scared you. It's really unexpected. She came to the coffee shop to drink milk tea, probably the first one, and Wang felt very helpless. The two of them met for the first time, but they have known each other online for ten years. Yes, they met each other since she went abroad in her previous life. Not only him, but also three other people in the chat room. The five of them have known Athena for eight years. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 As long as it's you. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 As long as it's you, this is not the place to talk, let's go somewhere else. Wang asked, and Su also nodded lightly. The things they were going to say couldn't be in such a public place, otherwise Wang wouldn't treat her as mentally ill, and others would think she was crazy. The car was parked by the river, and Wang slightly opened the car window. He turned his head to look at the girl sitting in the passenger seat, his eyes flickering, and he still spoke up, to be honest, if things are what we think, it's really unbelievable. It's not just unbelievable, it's just a fantasy. Su Qian propped up her head with one hand, listening to his words without any surprise. A hint of confusion flashed in her eyes, if things hadn't happened to me, I thought it was a fantasy, but it did happen. Wang, do you know why I chose to contact you? Wang took off his glasses and casually placed them aside, without looking up, saying, because of what happened eight years ago. Yes. Eight years ago, she was still Yi Qian, the year she was admitted to the Harvard PhD program. I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was her carelessness, maybe someone leaked a secret, and her IP was exposed in the hands of the FBI. That rapid escape almost made her think she was about to be caught, and it was about to end. However, Lucifer, Azrael, and Wang suddenly joined forces with Athena to break through the FBI network, threatening them, and ultimately did not expose her to the eyes of the FBI. Since then, the few of them have disappeared without a trace. If the FBI finds any trace of them, they will definitely be tracked. She was only 18 years old at that time, and no one knew that she, known as a genius in the United States, was the person that the FBI had been chasing for three days and three nights without catching. Wang, I have always been curious about how you had the courage to take action back then. Su Yichian's question made him feel like he had the courage to take action eight years ago. The man smiled and shook his head, with a teenage impulse and a provocative intent towards the FBI. Of course, more likely, it was because of her. Eight years ago, a group of 17 or 18-year-old boys and girls caused a huge uproar with the FBI. They retreated and scathed without being caught by them. Although they changed their names and everything since then, they have no regrets. Are you afraid at that time? When doing it, one is not afraid, but after everything is over, one still feels scared. What if? If they hadn't succeeded at the time, wouldn't everyone have gone in? Wang suddenly burst out laughing, attracting Su Yichin's puzzled gaze. He coughed lightly, covered his mouth, and still had a smile at the corner of his mouth. Back then, Lucifer said, if we all go in, we'll keep making noise inside until we can't make any noise. Su Yi was momentarily stunned, then shook his head and chuckled. After a long silence, Wang suddenly spoke up, Zero, all of us thought you were dead. The car fell into silence, and Su also let out a faint sigh. She thought she was dead, but she wasn't dead. Not only was she not dead, but she was also young. Don't you think this is absurd? In fact, when Su Yi Qian agreed today, she was very nervous. 
She had no family in her previous life, and these friends accounted for the largest proportion in her heart. She was afraid of seeing strange looks in their eyes, and she was afraid that they would turn around and leave directly. If that's the case, it's better not to contact them and let them think she's dead. Wong took out his glasses and gently wiped them with a cloth. Absurdity. There are so many absurd things in this world, not to mention this one. Besides, as long as you are zero, everything else doesn't matter. At this moment, the two of them looked at each other, and Wong's eyes were only filled with seriousness and determination. As he said, as long as she was zero, what else cared so much about? Su Yi lowered her head slightly, her nose sour, and tears silently dripped on the back of her hand. Enough, having this sentence is really enough. Wang's broad palm lightly patted her shoulder and said, Why are you crying, Lucifer? They're still waiting for you to come back and fight alongside us. A stacked square handkerchief was stuffed into her hand, and Su was momentarily stunned. She looked up at Wang, who couldn't help but shake her head and laugh at her stunned expression. Don't cry, if Lucifer and the others find out, I won't be able to calm down tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your actions back then, thank you for your silent support now, thank you for your unconditional trust, and thank you for always being by my side. Wang took out his phone and handed it to her, leave a number. I'll probably stay in Yenjing for a long time. If you need any help, feel free to contact me anytime. Entering his phone number, Su Yi Chin couldn't help but lift his head upon hearing his words and said, there shouldn't be anything I need to help with in the short term. Are you still a student now? Wang hesitated and asked, feeling that Zero was still a minor no matter what he thought. Feeling his hesitation and the meaning behind his words, Su Yi's lips twitched slightly, and the emotion he had just felt disappeared. High school seniors, what's wrong? In her third year of high school, Wang's face was cramped this time. She went back to that year's age, but they became old uncles, and their age was suddenly raised. Uncle, let's go back. Wang was so angry at this sentence that he almost reached out and threw her out. What was his emotional response just now? Did you feed the dog? He shouldn't have said those words. Is it still possible to retrieve them now? How could he forget that there was a little evil living in the heart of the person in front of him? Taking a deep breath and silently reciting a few words, he closed the window and started the car. Su Yi Qin didn't let him take her to the community. Although she confessed to the person in front of her, it didn't mean she was going to expose the situation. She admitted that she was greedy for the current peace, and if she didn't really want to let go, she wouldn't choose to contact them. Su Yi Qian unbuttoned his seatbelt and turned to look at Wang, I'm going home first. I'll contact you if there's anything else. Well, pay attention to safety. Su Yi Qian waved his hand and quickly stepped into the community after getting off the car. When she returned home, Chiu Jingmei didn't ask anything. Her long hair was scattered in her home uniform, but she looked much gentler than usual, without the appearance of a strong woman outside. She couldn't help but walk over and hand her the things in her hand when she saw Su Yi Qian coming back. Take a look at some magazines that have been shooting costumes in the world for years, she said Su Yi flipped through the magazine a few times and nodded slightly. Don't worry, Sister Chiu. This time, Xiao Yu is in charge of the world, so there won't be any accidents. She knows what Chiu Jingmei is worried about, isn't she just afraid that she won't be able to adapt to the style of the world and something unexpected will happen in the end? She is not a model who has received systematic training, but when taking hard photos, she has never been afraid of anyone. Xiu Jingmei held a water glass in her hand and sighed slightly as she looked at the girl with a calm expression on her face. End of this chapter 10, Chapter 10 Goodbye, My Partner you are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors.